Hey, what's up everybody? This Saturday, October 5th, we are going to have a charity fundraiser. We are raising money for Stuff the Slay. Do not be fooled by their name. Uh, they are more than an organization that collects toys during Christmas. In fact, they are a phenomenal organization that helps the families of usually children who are being impacted by cancer. So if you're unaware, in Houston, lots of people come into town from all over the world, all over our country, so that a family member can undergo cancer treatment. Where Stuff to Slay comes in, especially with kids, a lot of these kids are isolated or separated from their families, and they need a way to connect. So one great way of connecting is by giving them an iPad. Now they can start to FaceTime or video conference friends and family who may be you know, somewhere else in the country or somewhere else in the world. The slate also helps and supports families when it comes to parking, when it comes to grabbing snacks or dinner or lunches. You know, these are families who are living out of hotels for weeks or months at a time, or they've rented a place, but now they need to go grocery shopping, but they can't take that food that they make in their you know, wherever they're staying, they can't take that with them to the hospital if they want to be with their kids. So this is where Stuff to Slay steps in and helps out and does a phenomenal job in our community. So we are raising funds. We are raising money for them this Saturday, October 5th. We will do a team workout. It will be teams of three. Uh, can be women, men, combination, any combination thereof. It's going to be a fun workout. We're going to have three workouts that we're going to get done uh, in less than an hour. Each workout will take 12 minutes. Uh, they will go concurrently and then we will rest eight minutes in between so it's gonna be fun it's gonna be a great time this is a phenomenal workout to bring your friends your family your neighbors anyone in your life who may have been interested or you have heard you talk about doing crossfit or working out at the legal this is a great time to bring them uh, get to know our community and just in general the type of workouts that we do and the fun we have and how they can all deliver results so this Saturday, October 5th, we will start at 9 a.m. If you could show up just a little bit earlier, just to uh, register and get your sign-in sheet, that will give you instructions for the, the rest of the day. One of the questions I get is, hey, why, why do we do uh, these fundraising charity events? This year we did two, pretty much back to back, and I don't think next year we'll do that. Um, but next year we will, uh, again, raise money for a local charity stuff to say is phenomenal. I've known the family that runs it. I've known them for over 10 years and they love this community. Why do we do it? Why do we do it? Well, the first reason, um, the first reason is that I want us to promote a culture of gratitude. I want us to be thankful for the life we have. Every week we have a coaches meeting and we start that coaches meeting with a circle of gratitude. Every we go around the, the, the we do a video call, go around the screen, connecting with everyone. What are you grateful for? And it could be something as, uh, I'll edit that out, <laughs> go around the circle, go around the screen, listing what we're grateful for. It could be something as simple as the weather, especially when it's nice and cool or if we've gotten rain for the first time in a long time. It could be traveling, visiting friends or family, going to a wedding, or it could be you know something big, life-changing, getting married, having a baby, all of those things. It doesn't matter. Uh, we want a spirit of gratitude and us raising money for a charitable organization gives us the chance to give back to our community, to be grateful for what we have, to be grateful uh, that we are not going through that experience, that we are not the ones needing the charity, but we can, in fact, give that charity to support others. So that the, that's the first reason is to promote a culture of, of gratitude. The second is this is a great opportunity for us to have fun and for us to have a motivating workout atmosphere where we can invite our friends, our family, our neighbors to come join us for a workout that's going to be a little offbeat. Uh, it's not going, it may involve barbells or dumbbells, but it's definitely going to uh, involve some randomness. And that's okay. That's great. In fact, playing sports, sports are all random. You know, if you go to ball, you go chase it, you go throw it, you go put it somewhere. Uh, that, 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 that you never know what's going to happen. And that's the beauty of sport. And that is something we get to experience in our charitable fundraising workouts is that we get to have this fun, motivating workout atmosphere. The last, the third reason is that I want to give you an opportunity to contribute beyond yourself, to contribute beyond yourself. Um, the world is bigger than we are. And I know whatever your goals are, whether it's to build muscle, lose weight, look better, perform better, move better, live longer, live happier, live healthier, any of those, I guarantee you that the moment you realize that this world is bigger than you, all of those goals become easier to achieve. Once we realize that the world is bigger than our little bubble in Fulcher, Texas, it actually becomes easier for us to take the steps that we need to take to reach the objectives we want to reach. 
So those are the three reasons. Uh, that last one, again, being to inspire you to contribute beyond yourself. So there you go. That is why we do these charitable fundraising events. Our next one will be for Stuff to Slay on October 5th. It is this coming Saturday at 9 a.m. And I look forward to seeing you there. Have a great day. Bye.